Hey everyone, Meosity here. Welcome back. Today, we have... Well, it it's not a first per se, because I have done champion dungeons before on BR, because some of the bosses were champions. But this is the first champion, like, normal-ish run I've done in... Oh geez, has it been over 50 episodes now? Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're going to be going into a champion exposed interior, hoping to find some of the new enemies and just have some fun. And this is the trinket I decided I wanted to get because this has a few uses that could be actually really good. Twilight Pulsar on combat start, debuff enemy party, minus bleed and blight resistance, minus accuracy if meat. Bleeding minus dodge if blighted. You can see that where that could be good in the treasury, exposed interior, catacombs, even having uses in the caverns. The one downside is on combat start, buff party, plus protection if not bleeding, plus damage if not blighted. So I gotta be a little careful with it. I'll admit that part and I could misuse that in some very bad situations. This should also level up the exposed interior to level 7, so we'll see what happens there. And maybe I'll get the, um, let me pull up my screenshot of it really quick. Blackened Sun. Maybe it'll get me the Blackened Sun, um, the event again. Because I did go and double check with the people at uh, the BR Discord, and I'm saying that event comes back every once in a while if you haven't completed it. So Blackened Sun will come back. Um, so thank you for whoever responded to that. I actually know a few people responded to that. Thank you very, very much. Um, it is very appreciated. Gets that off my mind. <laughs> but so we're going to go in there with a Blight team. I'll go over that in a little bit. I did want to show a few things I had done in a few failed episodes really quick. And what I did in between getting the um, last episode and this episode up and running. So I do have people in the tech exchange in the Amber Refinement. That's kind of to be expected. Um, in the clinic, however, I am getting a few people with some problematic quirks removed. One of them is, or two of them actually, are the do -do 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 imposter syndrome because that actually, as in one of the episodes you saw when I was fighting the Enchantress, I believe it was, uh, really put a hole in my plan so two people are getting that removed both are vestals and then i traded out a third highwayman or the plague doctor that was in the ferry and they had compulsive so i'm getting rid of compulsive so that's where some of the gold went uh as for side decks in some of the failed episodes i basically got everything i could or almost everything i could so we have the Electrum Hearth going, we have the Premium Supplier, so that gives me three additional respite points. You saw that in the last episode. I probably should get the Commissionary for Idle Stress received, but that's not high on my priority. Although I probably should do it at some point just to finish that up. And then the only things I have after that are Amber Handling Instructor, which heal eight stress on interaction with Amber Curios, which I need a little more amber for. Uh, heal 15 stress on interaction with vendors, which I need more amber dust for. And amber craftsman, which I guess I need more lost tech and a little more mata. So I guess I do need that. But once again, that one's not very high on my list. But those are the only side decks we need now. But we do need a lot more lost tech. Other than that, every side deck is fully upgraded. So we're pretty far in on this. We just need a few more things to pop up, and I would consider this done other just than having, you know, fun. So that being said, let's go in and have some fun on the Exterminate. So once again, I'm going to be using the Flagellant. Hopefully we're going to run into the Perfumer, upgrade the Dreadful Cleaver. Flagellant also going in with Contraband, turning him into a Blight Hero. I'm going to be using the Abomination, trying to use him as a um, Blighter in Transformation Mode. We'll see if that works. We also have the Toothpick on him so that he does extra crit to hopefully counteract some of the stress he's going to be doing. We're going to be having the Occultist, and this is where I'm going to be trying something a little wonky for myself. Uh, usually I have plus healing stuff on whoever is going to be healing. 
However, I'm going to be having the Demon Cauldron on, which is going to be lessen the healing. That the Occultist has some massive healing, and the Flagellant can do some healing as well. So that is um, kind of how I'm going to play this, is if someone else needs to heal, they can help the Occultist, so I don't need as much healing on him. But he can also buff everyone else, is damage their crit. And he's also going to be using the Ghoul Serum Injection, which I got specifically for when I got the Jester, but he's going to be getting a jump start on this. Buff target plus damage plus accuracy plus damage when they do get the Ghoul Serum. And I believe it also gives me a chance to find more ghouls, which means more money. Then we have Chatwood, who uh, we all know how Chatwood works. Up until I get uh, living ammo up, I'm going to have standard shot going. Then I'll flip some stuff around and we'll see how this works. So because this is a long, I'm going to want a lot of food. So we'll do this. Do about that for torches. I don't need the arc kits, but we probably want some disease kits. We definitely want the shovels. I want some bandages, cleansing salts, and keys. Probably don't need that many keys. Uh, we'll see where this leads us. I think we're good on supplies. Our foes are undaunted by the scorching heat. Okay. We shall well, it looks like I have to go down first. Since 100% of room battles and I don't know what's where. I'm gonna tear this off a of chat wood just for ease of use. And there's Dark. Yeah. Oh, that's not grim at all. Do you think they put those up? Or do you think they're trying to tear them down? Alright, uh da -da -da -da. I know we don't need to do this, but let's try to get the ghoul serum going. Suffer. Let's do Beast Bile this turn, then we'll transform. And then we can... Oh, I missed things up here. Uh, do, 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 we'll bombard. Figured it hit one of them. We just need to take out one target with Chatwood to go into living ammo. So we'll probably blight a few people up, get them really low one health, and take them out with Chatwood. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So first of all, transform. Then let me see here. Three... And that would be six blight. Let's get the rake going. So that's gonna be four damage rather than. I guess it would have been eight on a single target, but that's fine. Then rain of sorrows. Heal up Chatwood. Ouchie. Not sure how a blinding glare with the shield does so much damage, but youchie. Get them blighted. Chatwood. Step in good health. Harden yourself. Is this bad? Ouchie. Do not stun. You really went there. All right. Um. I twelve. 16, they've got a lot of health, so if I go on this guy, 
There's a good chance we can build that up. He goes down in two turns, unless he gets healed. That's a good start for now. I can redeem on the flagellant next turn. So I just need to make it there. So let's rage. I was really hoping that would work. Redeem for the health. Keeping people alive. The first fight's always going to be the hardest with the living ammo stuff going on. I was a little concerned there, I'm not going to lie. But now what we can do... It's 20 and 16. So there's two routes I could take. I could right now put Chatwood into living ammo, or I could make sure that our friend lives. I'm gonna make sure our friend lives. And the unfortunate part is that we have the XP8 on which eight damage to swap. Elf, 12 of Pagan, he is Pagan. But we can. No, that's only 4 Blight, that's 20 Blight. Oof. I would need a lot here. <laughs> a lot. Uh, so we'll, we'll transform back. Yeah, I, I have a bit of a plan. So transform back for now. That got a little ugly. Um, and Absolution for now. The heal. Then, if we heal you, you can attack next turn. Step in good health. Oh, you son of a... Well, Chatwood can still do his thing. Living ammo. Do not surrender. We need you. And depending upon who gets a turn. Okay. Well, at least we got one down. This has a cooldown, so we can't use redeem, but we can rain of sorrows getting them blighted. Someone. Well, now this just has. <laughs> okay. Uh, 90 stun resistance and 140% stun. So it's a 50 50. We're taking it. It did not go off. Thankfully, it didn't hit. One person I didn't want it to hit. We heal him. He's fine. He debuffs himself because he's non-pagan. Think about that for a moment. I'm making this fight work. I know it's going to take a minute. <laughs> but if we bombard... I know it's not what we need to do. Um, it'll blight everyone. And it doesn't hit the target I need to hit. This is going lovely. Alright, Beast Bile. The corpse goes away next turn. We also got rid of that. We're going to heal. Ooh, actually... I think what I should really heal. Zero to 44. And we didn't get much. 
All right, we'll, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. That's gonna be a stun, ain't it? All right, Chatwood needs to go. Chatwood needs to go. Well, we got Redeem. We don't have Redeem. It has another cooldown. One goes down, one almost goes down. If we stun you, you can't heal. Heal you. The body's weaknesses are just in case. Redeem, because you two have the most health. Injuries will mount. I know I'm getting that health deep your healing regain debuff going, but that's fine. Ah, uh, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Turn nine. Youch. We must act. So as long as the flagellant doesn't go first, or, you know, technically second. That's not what we wanted. I'm not having him attack, actually. Um, we could put the Blight on. XB8 will put him at zero, then we can heal. Spectacular. Oh boy. I'm playing way too close to the sun here. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna stun. Don't know why I keep trying. We did get the ghoul serum on though for once, which is great. I would really... Do I still have the healing down for one turn? I mean, that works. That works. Oh, man, if that's the first fight of all, and all of this jazz, this is not going to work well. Did get a broken halo, though. If I did get rid of profane, that could go really well. I mean, this is a mainly pagan group right now. I wish I, I wish I could keep these because I know I've found these before. It feels like such a waste to just get rid of those. All right, uh, de-stress. This land is filled with unseen danger. Unholy hell. Alright. Firewood. Togetherness is a rare thing in this place. Probably a mistake. Flash is soulless. Amber infused powder for the debuff chance. Scout. This is the only prevent nighttime ambush I have. Dark strength on our friend who isn't religious or pagan or anything like that. Honestly, psych up for the damage. Screw it. And let's go. The glory will come. Use that. Now, there is labor. Come back for that. I can go down for the curio and come back 
up. That might be the better plan. Just to keep myself more sane. Secure it and march on. A lot of gold. To do. That'll help. So what does the ghoul serum exactly do? Plus protection, plus food consumed, plus stress received, plus 10% ghoul encounter chance. So it's not much, but it is something considering how rare they are. But the extra food may hurt. Okay. Well, two new enemies, including that Ripperkin. Uh, it is not going to be blood. Oh, look at those chainsaws burr on it. <laughs> oh, that is such a cool design. So, it's got a chain wrapped around its arm, so I'm assuming that's some kind of a head on... That's some kind of old tech, then, that she's riding. And then she's got claws, and... That's a lot of skulls decorating it, too. I think it's one for each enemy she's taken out. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alright, let's try to, uh... Oh, I didn't fix the skills on... Chatwood. Oh, well. I'll do it next time. Suffer. Rinhound is going to have to go first. But that also will put the blight on the Ripperkin. Making it a little more viable to take out. We'll see what they do. Feed the beast. Damage, speed, crit. Accuracy, not crit. Okay, transform. We'll take out front row here. So we kind of know what these two do. Heal up. Even though you have this symptom already. Punish. Youch. And you go down on your turn. Just leaving Ripperkin. We'll see what she does. What? Okay. Bombard. That raised her resistance, I think. You hurt. Yeah, Rage is going to do a lot more. Oh man, this thing hurts. Um, that's 16 bleed. I can do 10 to 20 or attempt to put Blight on it, which doesn't seem to be going off. Mm. Quite honestly, I need the heals. Um, let's see what we can do here. There's some blight done. I was almost afraid I wasn't going to get the blights off. Notice how that once she used uh, Fueled by Blood, the chainsaws changed color and some of the skulls did too. That is such a cool design. Oh, this is not great. 
there. That that'll keep him up for like a turn. Uh, okay, if we rage, that'll do a good chunk of damage. Maybe blighting. More than a good chunk. Light should take it out. Is clear from our path. I didn't get anything cool for it. <laughs> that just um scared me a little bit. Bandages, yes. Okay. Give Dark, please. Sure previous owner will not mind. We're gonna need it for these guys as therapy bills after that. So, ooh, I, I know I can use this for like a free rest if I, I, I shouldn't say free rest, but free nighttime, am, no nighttime ambush. Really tempted to do that, but at the same time, I have plus damage for how many battles. really need to fix chat wood. Take off the change ammo. Thankfully they're not hitting me either, but you know, it could have been bad. Alright, let's see what happens. Got rid of my blight. We're gonna hit the back row, so she goes away. Maybe they'll stop blighting, or they won't do the um, breakthrough and hit everyone. So we'll rage at the Hellion as well. Ta taking it out. Trying to put the Ghoul Serum on. That's not gonna work. Bombard. Only hitting the corpse. I mean, we're trading very heavy hit for very, very heavy hit here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go for the Hellion now. She can stun and that's not great. Then, bombard again, get the blight going on everyone. Heal you. There's ghoul fever. We wanted that. We did not want that. Do not fall. Which means I probably need the Hellion down. No, no. Okay, 12 and 31. We can take that out with the abomination. Jeez, that guy hurts. Okay. Honestly, we can do this and then 12 and 12. Then, how bad does that bleed? Great. I'm a little speechless there, Aubrey. Do you have some unanswered problems that, um, Need addressing? Another skirmish, another step forward. Okay, we're not gonna need to use those. I'd like the ruby. So we'll do that. And as much as I would like to use the silent pantheon there, we have 
two battles worth of stuff left, right? One battle. Two battles. So... I don't think it's going to be worthwhile using it right there to re-up our stuff, as good as it would be. The mind's defenses crumble against the tide. Lovely. Be more careful. They can eat, that's why we brought food. We brought the key, so we might as well use it. Here we go. Keep getting distracted. Alright, suffer. Yeah, let's err on the side of caution. Well, fine, we'll heal the person who's marked. That's actually probably the better option, either way. All right, let's, um... Don't feel like doing the knockbacks, so we'll blight them. I love how that grenade looks. Even if it's missing, I love how it looks. Thankfully, it didn't crit. Okay, that that hurt. That that was bad. Wounds and fatigue. Thankfully, we can do redeem. Stunned. The bleed is bad. Probably should still heal him up. Then we can bombard again. The blight on who we can. It's adding up. Come now, back on your feet. Yikes. Okay, Grinhound goes down on next. Stand your ground. Depending upon how this goes, this is gonna be really bad. Okay. We're gonna reconstruct on the A bomb. Get rid of that bleed. Transform. Rage hopefully taking out the Bombard. Punish taking out the Hellion. That's 16. And we're gonna patch up healing our Occultist. enough bleed on or blight on her she goes away putting the harrier into row one that's my thinking there or row two technically but uh she has 28 and that so if i honestly were to do this and absolution it gets stress and healing on that and i can take the harrier out with other means An agonizing death Slow and measured. Mend.
Honestly, that healing is better than the occultist right now. That's a little scary. Who was testing you? Certainly not me. I just want you guys to survive. Get that stress down. This point, please heal up. No. Okay. Bombard. No blight. All right. There we go. Take what we can. Wars consist of a great many battles. Continue. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that before I get distracted again. Just so she has a heal. Smoke screen is blight amount received. Honestly, buckshot would be really good if someone was in the front row, but. We're gonna do bombard and then patch up. Okay, um, honestly, I might get rid of the disease kits next time I have a chance. Moving to the vendor. Do I have marks of valor? I do. There's the trap 50, 70, 60, 60. That was amazing, and... Oh! Oh! What have they done to this bear? I don't think I want to know what they have done to said bear. Just for ghoul stuff. Beast bile. Can we blight it? We can blight it. It only has 60% resistance. Cannonade. Oh. Well, I know what's going to happen there. Um, yeah, smoke screen. Mm-hmm. I was not expecting to find a bear... Not sure what kind of bear that technically is. Um, not not a brown bear. I think it might be an Ursa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of bear. But in a desert. That 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 was not on my list of things to find. Artillery, get their health down. So right now the Harriers are not things I want to find alongside. Powder Claw. Transform. Okay, we have 12. And a dodge. Must recover. Well, I kind of thought that would hurt, and I the bleed makes sense. Yup. Bombard. Get that blight. Carrier one goes down on next turn. That wasn't even to the marked person. Excuse me? Thank you for lowering your health enough, Bondville. That actually worked out to our advantage. Okay. <laughs> the grasp on sanity slips away. This is this is going swell. Four for two, that's not horrible. Let's rage at the powder claw. Abomination versus bear. Okay, 
So here your goes down on its turn. That one is going to take a bit. This has 200 health and it's going to lose 20 on its turn. It's not going to lose any more, that's for sure. I'm frightened at the fact that it knows how to use that cannon so well. Well, we need to heal our flagellant. Good thing that his turn isn't anytime soon. You go away. Um, okay. I can heal Chatwood with this, so we're gonna go with that, so I don't have to, you know, do anything to him. Okay. What's the debuff? Get, get rid of what I can there. Um, we can also redeem. What I know is... Probably not going to do enough for that cannon, if I'm being totally honest. So Blight, 32 around. Oh no. Oh no. I need this to hit. <laughs> that cannon were to land, we were losing our flagellant. Okay. Take what we can. I'm a little sketched out now. Uh, da, 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 da. Do this for now. Take the onyx, leave the rest. Torch up here. I know there's a vendor in the next room. Gonna fire wood. The dark and the cold are upon us. Keep each other Ooh, safe. We can't fire. feast because I don't have enough food with the ghoul serum stuff now. So we're gonna have to eat until full. Hopefully everyone allows for that. Uh, scout, amber infused powder. We can't lash his anger without having a heart attack. However, that might be the better option. Because if we lash his anger, heart attack, then lash his kiss to heal, and then solace? And we can still unspeakable commune to prevent nighttime ambush. And get dark strength for the damage. Now you lost tech onyx. And I have to go left before I go down, otherwise there's gonna be something over here. Just so you don't get as stressed out. No challenge. Use a torch or a shovel there. Proverbially and physically. No scouting. You must keep eyes. We don't have anti venom. That is some nasty stuff. Okay, he will be, or Chatwood will be at one health, thankfully. So we're good from that standpoint. We didn't scout again, but these were fine. That means that uh, we can just go back fine as well. They can eat again. I only have one more hunger check because they're all eating 
It's six now instead of four. Youch. I'm either gonna need to find food or get really lucky here. All right, cremation. There's only one person left that hasn't gotten afflicted, so let's keep it that way. Skeleton key. Thogus? <laughs> That's a name. Um, okay. Reconstruct, get front row. I know that back row might hurt a bit, but... Bad. You prick! Uh, however, that being said, redeem. Oh, full heal crit. And we can still get the two I would really like. I kind of want the Reaver out of rows three and four, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. With this group, at least. I do see a way of doing it. Um, but first of all, Smokescreen. I'm going to have to be kind of careful doing this, though, depending on actions, and doesn't really matter. Um, I only have a 50-50 on this, so we'll see what happens. Nope. Should have healed. You prick. Alright, Rain of Sorrows. We'll get them blighted. 20 around and 12 around. I transform. Actually, no. Uh, we'll nix that for the time being because I don't want the flagellant in row 3. So, Beast Bile. So, the Corvid's almost going to go down. And what I can do to kind of help with that is to standard shot. Because that'll heal. Also crit de-stress. Back by two, now we're where I want things to be. Corvid goes down on its turn. Flying guillotine's not gonna help. However, since we're not marked, I don't think they can hit me with damage. So transform. Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. So we're very close to a heart attack there. Gonna rage at the Grinhound, taking it out. Blight. Once blood flows, the earth has begun. That heal for 16 or heal for up to 16, so we will heal for 16. I guess it's not 16, but 13. That's that's still fine. Um Okay, 24, 40, light back row. That way, Chetwood's kind of fine. 36 and 36. Almost forgot about our abomination. And they're all bad. All right. Without faith in one another, how can you survive? That being said, though, we have options. We can heal here. 
That does put the bleed there. That's that's fine. We do this. I'm actually not sure that was going to heal. Okay. I'm your better half, huh? My bandage. Light. So I didn't think the stun was going to go off. Light again. We're at 2456. Heal Chatwood. We're fine, we're fine. I don't think I can redeem quite yet. Over 24th. No, still need a little bit of damage. And then I can spend the time healing. Um, some of which is going to be on Chatwood there. Because 36, 27, he goes down. So, heal, de-stress, heal. Heal. Okay, we're in a better position. I don't think I need the Marks of Valor. It's all the other stuff I needed. I'm not finding that perfumer. Uh, we have three battles worth of stuff left. I have a disease kit to use here, which will heal us up. That'll help. And a default party order just in case. Because Chatwood is pretty much worthless in the front rows, whereas at least the cultist can uh, do a few things here. He's our last bandage on the A bomb, so he does a tat and more. Okay. This could be good. This could be very, very bad. Because I know that the normal ghoul there can do a load of stress. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. We can blight him though. We're fine. That's not great. I know the little guys are going to be easier to take out. And plus Blight received, that'll be easier to take out. Okay. So for now, Reign of Sorrows, that'll Blight them. That's 8, and that's 12 if I... We'll transform here. So I want to get the chest. So rage. One down. I pull. He has to do baying. He can't do wheeling advance, which is going to do damage. Stresses you out, huh? Try to do this again. That did not blight. Um, and we'll go all in on the ghoul because I kind of have a plan for that pain weaver right there. Yeah, it goes down on its next turn. Ouchie. Very much ouchie. Uh, heal up. No. Actually, heal up on the occultist. And 
and rage. That's 22 of however much health. It goes down. Pain Weaver goes down. I can focus on healing. And that stress is stressing me out. Extra food, I'm going to need that. I think that gives me another hunger check, if I'm being totally honest. That's a full dark stack. Um, can I even use the cleansing salts? I don't think I can. We have the... I don't know why I was checking that. I had a sapphire right there. Default party order. Plus damage, 20 damage. Do I do it here? I feel kind of silly not using the silent pantheons, especially when I'm so close to stress stuff. Like, I have two hard attacks right there that could be possibly used to not have a stress attack there, or heart attack. And then if I feasted... Out of curiosity. Okay, good to know. We must be more vigilant. Use a torch there. Doing what we can. The only thing that should super stress me out in this fight is each other. That's something of note, right? I should have healed on our guy there, because he's um, going to have a bad day. Okay, well, we might be losing our flagellant. He might get a turn before they get their, like, actual attack rounds. Right? And they're probably going to be going at Chatwood as much as possible. And I do think I have a chance at healing our flagellant with Chatwood, but I know he's already turned down a heal, so I might not. Oh. It's the debuff. This is not going great. Okay, so if we can't heal the flagellant. Let's do smoke screen, get the light amount received up, and then maybe we'll do something I'm assuming. Beyond my expectations there, buddy. Alright, redeem, please, redeem. Um, don't care who, probably. Okay, let's see, 93, 97, let's go. Black Beast has seen me, huh? Well, fine. I really don't care who you heal at this point. As long as you're getting yourself in that. And if I go into transformation, because I don't have the other padlock on me, they're going to get stressed out. So we got to do this. And then, just so things don't get worse expecting better. This is where things go downhill. Guard attack and bleeding. Yep. Alright. And 
here's the bad thing. I don't think he's going to make a death door check if I run away. So, trying to think here. I lose the flagellant if I leave. I may lose the... I may lose everyone due to heart attacks. So, what we're going to do is play a very stupid game. One down. Nothing left to be done. Do not let their death be meaningless. Snuffed out. Like a candle. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. <laughs> I had gotten interrupted so many times on that one that I couldn't think straight. I think people had knocked on the door like 10 different times during that episode, so. Oof, duh. That's a tough loss. My path leading here has been a hard one, friend. And I find it safe to say things on the plus side, get easier. Jester? Uh, I want to see something here quick. No longer have level 5 flagellant. I do have another A bomb, and that was my level 5 slash 6 occultist. Okay. And that was the arbalist I had. That being said, the ghoul mother is right there. We can level some people up if I chose to go that route. So I may do that. As you saw, that was kind of a bad luck with some of the stuff I was finding in there. I probably should have ran away earlier, but that is what it is. We saw some fun stuff, got to test some stuff out, and I get my trinkets back, so it's not worst case scenario. I will go get those back, probably bringing a group to heal up, and then just one person I think I want to get to level five, and then we will go from there. So that'll be it for this time. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.